Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I want to do a quick taste of the apple juice wine that I brewed. So, um, I started it off at the same time as the orange juice and also the cherry and red grape juice which that turned out to be bloody brilliant. Um, as for the uh, apple juice, this is my first experiment at doing apple juice wine. So, six cartons of apple juice, six kilos of sugar and yeast. Um, Ten pound at the maximum. Probably cheap if you can get it from different shops. It all depends where you buy from. But we're looking at 10 quid. It made 30 bottles. I did have an issue though. Um, initially, it didn't seem to be doing anything. So when I took out the orange juice wine, I used the yeast from the orange juice that was left, at the, basically the sediment left at the bottom, poured the apple juice wine into it because it wasn't doing bugger all anyway, and then it bubbled up like a twat, uh, for want of a better word, you know. Uh, it's my St. Tan's coming out, my St. Tan's Nottingham, you know. You know, can't all be, uh, 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 I went down the pub and I had two drinks. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. And uh, so for t just under 10 quid, 30, say 33 pence a bottle, if not even less than that, for a glass of wine, for bottles of wine. Um, so now I'm going to try it. It's had a couple of days to settle down since I've moved it into there. I don't think it will be clear yet. Um, Clarity comes with maturity. Hey, does it? <laughs> hey, I might be 48, but I don't feel no more mature than I did at 20. Yeah. Sometimes your brain thinks, no. And then you sometimes think, no, 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 no. Be mature. Don't do it, don't get it, you know. But anyway, let's have a try. This will be interesting. Right. So there we have it, slightly hazy, I was expecting that to be honest. It looks a bit like the grapefruit juice wine did. So this has been in the dishwasher, there's a slight mark on the glass. So, as you can see, a hazy pour. I don't use stabilizers. If you're doing these juice wines and you want to use stabilizers or finings, finings is better. Uh, the finings will clear it. Depends what you want to do because the findings also gets rid of some of the flavour on the nose. A hint of apple on the nose, not much, very subtle. But there's a there's an aroma of something. Oh dear. Here we go. I've got tre trepidation. I remember the prune juice wine and how bad that was. And the after effects of drinking it. It always um, makes me worry about what's coming. But there you go. Ooh. Okay. That's actually made a nice, slightly sweet apple wine. So ignore the look of it. It doesn't look the greatest, I'll give you that. Um, flipping heck. Oh, really strong. I can feel the strength in it. Blow my neck. Oh. It's a belter. Oh. Yes. We have a winner. It tastes lovely. Like I say, it doesn't uh, look that great. But 
if you don't use stabilizers and you don't use filings, more filings than anything, the filings will clear it, make it more clear. But it's an apple juice wine with a hint of orange. There's because you know the orange that was in the yeast and the sediment layer, it has translated a bit into the taste. But what it's made. It's that bloody moonshine, it's really strong. Flipping heck. And obviously I've only had a sip because I was tentatively having a sip. My belly is on fire with the warmth. Oh. This will help me sleep at nights. And good enough, because it costs it costs a lot of money, yeah, uh, drinking some of the stuff at nights to get to sleep. You don't want to open a ten pound bottle of wine just just to help get you to sleep. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So forget the taste. Oh. What I will say is, now the supermarket supermarkets have relaxed their maximum items rule. Um, you can go in and get six cartons from one supermarket it makes a difference buying it from one supermarket I made that mistake with the orange juice two different orange juice suppliers and I reckon that there was that's where the there was a bit of funkiness come into the brew um, still tastes good and still strong this is bloody strong oh I'm really feeling it. Jesus, mother of God. Um, bear in mind now that I use six kilos of sugar in a 25 litre fermentation bu uh, bucket. That should make, well, if you look at normal, the bucket behind me, this one, and then that one, they're four litres. Yeah, four bags of sugar. In, a tw in about the same amount of um, them, it will come out at about 11 to 13 percent. So you think of the extra two kilos of sugar, and no wonder it tastes strong. Jesus, we're talking um, top class champagne or sherry range, 20 percent, anything 20 percent. I've got to be honest. One of these days I'll get off my lazy arse and take our hydrometer readings because once you take it at the beginning and you take it at the end, it's more interesting. It's more interesting for you as well as me uh, on these experiments. So, what I can say is, even though the initial brewing failed because the yeast, it wasn't doing anything, and then I put it into the use the other yeast, sometimes it's good to have two brews going at the same time. And wow, that is an absolute belter of a wine. Strong, good taste, nice taste to it, strong. Not much on the aroma, but yeah, ticks the spot. Right, I'll drink the rest and chat shit, as I do, normally. So, these days, supermarkets, none of us like going to the shop at the moment. It's bloody horrible. You have to come home, you have to wipe everything down like you're in a flipping surgery. Uh, and if you're not, then you're foolish. Very foolish. You have to have a range of uh, wipes, sprays. I mean, some stuff you can spray, that's fine. Bottles and that. Some stuff you have to wipe. And do wipe it with antibacterials. Don't be silly. You know. We've only got one chance on this earth that we know about anyway. And uh, people who say, oh, I don't mind dying. Yeah, yeah, you say that. Then you lose all your family. And your family are heartbroken because you're not there. No, 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 no. But anyway, in shops at the moment, there are bargains to be had. I've just gone into Sainsbury's today and they're reducing their meat like wano because what they've done, they've ramped up production. They've ramped up to meet the sales because obviously a few weeks ago, you couldn't get any bloody fresh meat. Now, it's all been ramped up to cope with it, but then the social distancing kicks in. So social distancing has stopped mega sales. And now, they're having to 
um, reduce that one oh. So they're obviously losing money on that side of things. But it's great for the consumer. So they have gone in, got a load of drumsticks, uh, a quarter of the price. Um, uh, liver, I do like liver and onions and gravy. Um, and then other bits and bobs as well. So it's a good time to be in the supermarkets. And from a beer point of view, Morrison's have had their massive range review recently. Lots of new beers. Get yourself down to Morrison's. Tesco's big range review is coming up. Sainsbury's have had a range review, but it's mainly on ciders and, the, and some craft beers. The beer range, and to be honest, Sainsbury's beer range is... <clears throat> it rhymes with hit. And it begins with S. Um, and I used to work for them. And I have lots of good friends there, you know, that I really worry about with this, what's going on. And obviously the Tesco's one's very interesting. So it's a great time if you've got the money to go to your supermarket, go and treat yourself to some new beers. But also, if you're a home brewer, wah wah, this is a good time to get yourself to Bloody Wilco's, go and get yourself the, a starter kit that comes without a, uh, a beer, you know, a beer kit. Get the cheapest starter kit, the one that's got the bucket. The hydrometer in that. Someone's in that garden. And then get your get your juice wines. Cherry juice, apple juice, orange juice make great juice wines. Cherry and red grape make a great juice wine. And I also think apple and white grape would as well. And if anybody's out there who's made a juice wine um, and had good results, um, please post because I'm interested in doing more. Obviously, I don't want to recreate bad juice wine recipes, but good ones. I don't mind replicating. I thought there was somebody in the garden then staring at me, knows it. I don't want people thinking I talk to a camera and I'm a, a loony or indeed a pisshead. So, that, I'm well pleased. I was really disappointed the other week when it didn't do anything. And I was contemplating chucking the 40 pints, which is a waste of a tenner. And obviously, like most people, tenner's a tenner, you can't be wasting stuff. Um, but in the end, because I reused the orange yeast, the sediment layer at the bottom, which is where all the yeast is, poured that in, it invigorated the yeast, all that sugar to, to, you know, to turn into alcohol. And it's made um, a cloudy wine, obviously, with a subtle, very subtle apple aroma, a really good apple taste, and a bloody strong wine. Out of five. Oh. Um, In a homebrew sense, I'm going to give it about a 4.3 out of 5. That was amazing. That was really good. And it's only going to get better once it starts clearing. Now, the only downer is that I've got three barrels in that, three barrels in a row. Let me show you. Look at them little beauties. Orange, apple, cherry juice and red grape. So, any, if I brew anything more, I'm going to have to do it and bottle it. And... Uh, in the next couple of weeks, because my rhubarb is growing like a swine, and uh, rhubarb and ginger wine. Once these are finished, I'm doing another brew. Rhubarb and ginger wine. I'm going for it, sod it. Hey. Right, so that's all for this review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've, it inspires you to do your own juice wine brews. Because yes, you can go and buy the wine brews. But when they're 40 quid, 20 quid, you know, and if you're on a budget, then, and availability as well, sometimes it's hard to get them. Plus you're playing postage and packaging on top. But to do this, all you gotta do is go to your supermarket. You go to your supermarket, you buy your juice and your sugar. You go to somewhere like Wilco's, you buy your yeast. I dare say you can use bread yeast if you really had to. I'm sure you can. Yeast does 
eats that sugar, turns it to alcohol. I don't know what it does in bread, and I don't know how that works. But certainly, yeast from Wilco is £1.25. If you get the nutrient, that's probably a little bit better because it helps the yeast go. But as long as it's done at the right temperature, wow. I mean, I'm well happy with what, with what I brewed. And uh, once it settles, clears, because clearing's, you know, obviously that apple juice that I've just showed you is two days from basically fermenting and it's only going to get better. Wow. Right, anyway, you can tell I'm a fan, can't you? You know, it's, uh, I'm here because I'm a fan. Um, that's all for this review. Um, wow, I'm so pleased. Thanks for watching. See you soon and obviously stay safe. Cheers. Thank you.